party, and they were always, uh, you know, the boys were over here and the girls were over there, and the, the guy had, you know, really good hair or a sharp outfit on, or he had a nice car, or he had a, he knew how to dance better than I did, or um, he had a better line, you know, an intro line. Hey, blah blah blah. My name is Bobby, and yeah, blah blah. And I'd kind of wander out of the party room, and I'd go around the house, and I'd see a piano, and I sit down just by myself and I start to play the piano and just I just sit there and and I look up and there would be a girl and I'd get back down into it and throw a little body language and I'd look up again and there was another girl <laughs> and I think this stuff is great. I didn't even have to talk. This talk, this spoke for me. I remember a girl telling me the melody without the chords and see if it um, moves you at all. Not a great tune, really. It's not the it's not set me on fire, but put it with the chords. <laughs> Harmony really is all that other stuff that's going on underneath that most people may not notice, but that really is doing all the work, I think. Because the melody is easy to hear, but the harmony is all those people that, you know, when, when somebody goes up on stage and they collect their Oscar or their Grammy and they thank all those people, well, the harmony is all those other people that they're thanking, because they really did it. Chords are, uh, can, can imply strength, they can imply passion, uh, they can imply masculinity as well as femininity. But you, you put all these elements together and you've got a hormonal gasoline.